The skies above America shifted forever on March 21, 2025. Inside the Oval Office, President Donald Trump stood before the cameras and revealed what military insiders had whispered about for years. The Boeing F-47, a sixth-generation fighter jet so advanced it had been operating under complete secrecy. For nearly five years, test pilots had already flown experimental versions, pushing human and machine limits at hidden airfields in the western deserts. Boeing had poured billions into technologies that once sounded like science fiction. Now, that secrecy was finally over. Welcome to the era of next-generation air dominance, a project that doesn't just represent a new aircraft, but a new philosophy of war. The F-47 is America's reply to the rising power of China and Russia, a guarantee that U.S. pilots will dominate the skies for decades to come. The announcement stunned the world. Chinese media rushed to showcase footage of their own so-called sixth-generation fighter, the J-36, claiming it could rival the U.S. Air Force. Russian officials boasted that their next-gen aircraft was in development. But behind the political theater, reality told a different story. America wasn't catching up. It was already ahead by miles. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more U.S. military and defense stories. Let me know in the comments where you're watching from. Your city? Your state? Or your base? I read every comment and appreciate your support. The Secret Beginning To understand how this marvel came to be, we have to go back to 2014. While most Americans were focused on everyday life, a small group inside DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, began something called the Aerospace Innovation Initiative. It wasn't another routine research effort. It was a quiet revolution. Then, Under Secretary of Defense Frank Kendall saw what few dared to admit. The era of unchallenged U.S. air superiority was slipping. China and Russia were racing ahead with new air defenses, hypersonic weapons, and stealth aircraft of their own. Kendall acted decisively. He authorized a classified effort to ensure that America's skies would never fall behind again. Over the next few years, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman were invited to secretly build experimental aircraft. These weren't computer renders or static displays. They were real machines. Between 2019 and 2022, those jets, called X-planes, took to the air logging hundreds of flight hours under the radar. American engineers and pilots were literally flying the future while adversaries were still bragging about prototypes. Those tests proved a single, critical truth. American innovation was still light years ahead of any rival on Earth. The Battle for the Contract The race to decide who would build America's next great fighter was fierce. Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman, three legends of aerospace, entered the arena. Lockheed had already created the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, the cornerstones of fifth-generation air power. Northrop had built the revolutionary B-21 Raider, a stealth bomber that pushed design boundaries. And Boeing's legacy stretched back to the P-51 Mustang of World War II and the F-15. 15 Eagle, a jet that has never lost in air-to-air -air combat. Then came the twist no one saw coming. In 2023, Northrop withdrew, leaving Boeing and Lockheed in a two-horse race for what would become the most lucrative and consequential defense contract in modern history. By May 2024, however, the program hit turbulence. Costs ballooned. Analysts estimated each jet could exceed $300 million, triple the price of an F-35. 
Critics demanded a pause. Was the project worth it? Could America afford such ambition? The skeptics didn't yet grasp the truth. The threats facing the U.S. had already evolved beyond the reach of older technology. The Decision That Defined the Future China had been rapidly deploying advanced anti-air systems designed specifically to hunt American aircraft. Its J-20 fighters were active, and intelligence hinted that the J-36 was close to combat readiness. Russia's S-400 and S-500 missile systems posed genuine dangers. When President Trump returned to office in January 2025, one of his earliest national security decisions was to accelerate the F-47 program. An internal Air Force study had made it clear there was no alternative. Major General Joseph Kungel summed it up bluntly. We tried every option. Nothing else could guarantee air superiority in a high-threat environment. General Kenneth Wilsbach echoed that sentiment. The U.S., would need manned sixth-generation fighters to counter China's own next-gen fleet. So on that March morning, Trump's words sent shockwaves worldwide. The United States Air Force will award the next-generation air dominance contract to Boeing. With that statement, America's sixth-generation dream became reality. A new kind of fighter the F-47 isn't a mere upgrade. It's an entirely new species of aircraft, a machine that redefines what air superiority means. Let's start with stealth. The F-22 and F-35 were legends of invisibility, but the F-47 pushes beyond anything imaginable just a few years ago. According to Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin, it possesses longer range and far deeper stealth than any fifth-generation jet. This isn't just radar stealth. It's multi-spectrum invisibility. From radar to infrared to electromagnetic emissions, the F-47 erases its presence across the spectrum. To an enemy's sensors, American pilots might as well be ghosts, undetectable until it's far too late. Its combat radius exceeds 1,000 nautical miles, nearly double that of the F-22. That means American jets can strike deep inside enemy territory and return safely. They can operate from distant bases, far beyond the reach of adversary missiles. And with speeds beyond Mach 2, the F-47 can engage or escape before the opponent even realizes it's there. The Drone Revolution where the F-47 truly changes warfare is in its integration with drones. This fighter isn't a lone wolf, it's the quarterback of an aerial team. Each F-47 can command several AI-enabled drones known as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs. These unmanned wingmen extend its reach, carry extra weapons, jam enemy defenses, or act as decoys. Picture this. An F-47 enters contested airspace flanked by four drones. The pilot doesn't manually steer each one. The onboard AI coordinates them all. They share data instantly, adjust formations, assign targets, and execute simultaneous strikes. If the enemy fires, the drones take the hit while the manned jet remains untouched. Together, they form a digital phalanx an interconnected force that acts faster than any human squadron could. The Air Force plans for around 200 F-47s supported by 1,000 drones, creating an effective force of 1,200 combat units operating as one organism. Why Boeing won? Oh, why Boeing and not Lockheed? the maker of the last two American fighters? According to insiders, part of the answer lies in incentive and readiness. Boeing needed this win more than anyone. After years on the sidelines, 
the company poured unprecedented resources into its St. Louis facilities, modernizing factories and investing heavily in digital engineering. Former Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall explained that Boeing's proposal aligned perfectly with the Air Force's built-to-adapt philosophy. Instead of designing a single jet to serve 40 years like the F-16 or F-15, the F-47's architecture allows constant evolution. New sensors, engines, or weapons can be swapped in without redesigning the entire aircraft. The Air Force envisions a shorter, faster development cycle. Buy new fighters every eight years. Replace them every 16. It's a strategy that ensures America always stays ahead of evolving threats instead of playing catch-up. Message to the world. The unveiling of the F-47 sent an unmistakable signal to allies and adversaries alike. Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth stated, This fighter tells our allies we're here to stay, and tells our enemies we can reach them anywhere, anytime. China's reaction was predictable. Just months before the F-47 announcement, viral videos showed supposed test flights of the J-36. The timing was no coincidence. It was Beijing's attempt to project parity. Yet the truth is stark. The J-36, though sleek, lacks the integrated systems and sensor fusion that make the F-47 unstoppable. Much of China's military technology still relies on reverse engineering foreign designs, not original breakthroughs. Russia's situation is even worse. While Moscow boasts about sixth-generation programs, its war in Ukraine has exposed crippling industrial weaknesses. Maintaining existing aircraft is already a struggle. Building a next-gen fleet is a fantasy. Reviving American Industry The F-47 program isn't just about dominance. It's about revitalizing America's industrial might. Boeing's St. Louis plant received over $1.8 billion in expansion creating hundreds of high-paying technical jobs. The project strengthens the broader defense manufacturing base, ensuring that multiple U.S. companies, not just one, can produce next-generation aircraft. Competition drives innovation. For too long, Lockheed dominated the fighter market. Now Boeing's return sparks new energy across the industry pushing faster development and lower long-term costs. The result? Better aircraft, smarter production, and renewed American confidence in its own ingenuity. Answering the critics. Of course, no major defense project escapes criticism. Opponents point to price tags reaching $250 to $300 million per jet arguing that smaller, cheaper fleets might be more practical. Others question whether advanced fighters are still relevant in the age of drones and cyber warfare. But critics overlook key realities. The F-47 isn't just an aircraft. It's the centerpiece of a networked ecosystem of drones, sensors, and data links. Its value can't be measured by unit cost alone. The F-22 line closed long ago. And while the F-35 remains versatile, it was never meant to command the air in the way the F-47 can. In a world where Chinese and Russian air defenses evolve to neutralize older designs, the F-47's innovations aren't luxuries. They're necessities. Without them, the U.S. would risk losing what has defined its global influence for 75 years. Uncontested control of the skies. Looking ahead, the F-47 program's timeline is bold but achievable. Boeing aims for the first flight by late 2028 or early 2029, with full operational status expected in the early 2030s. These jets will gradually replace the aging F-22 Raptor fleet, 
ushering in a new era of manned and unmanned cooperation. Former Secretary Kendall hinted that the F-47 may be only increment one of a broader NGAD family, a lineage of constantly improving designs. The Air Force continues heavy investment in the Collaborative Combat Aircraft Initiative, working with General Atomics, Andoril, and other innovators to build the F-47's AI wingman. Meanwhile, the U.S. Navy faces its own crossroads. Its FAXOTSX program aims to produce a carrier-based sixth-generation fighter, but budget limits and the growing threat of long-range anti-ship missiles make the project uncertain. For now, the Air Force leads the charge, setting the blueprint for all that follows. Strategic Meaning The F-47 isn't just about hardware. It's a declaration of national intent. By committing to such an ambitious, costly program, America signals to the world that it will not surrender air superiority, ever. For decades, dominance of the skies has underpinned global stability. It allows the U.S. to deter aggression, defend allies, and keep vital trade routes secure. The F-47 ensures that foundation remains unshakable. It also restores faith in American innovation. In an era when some doubted whether the United States could still out-engineer its rivals, the F-47 answers resoundingly, Yes, we can, and we still do it better than anyone. For allies, it's reassurance. For adversaries, it's a warning. And for every American watching, it's proof that this nation's best days of ingenuity and courage aren't behind us. They're taking flight right now. New dawn in the skies when the first F-47 roars into the air. It will carry more than advanced systems. It will carry the faith of a nation. It embodies the spirit of every engineer, mechanic, and pilot who refuses to accept limits. It reminds us that peace endures only when strength stands ready. This aircraft will show the world that America still protects freedom wherever it's threatened and that no enemy can ever own the sky. The F-47 is not just a fighter, it's a promise. A promise that the United States will never yield, never slow down, and never stop pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The age of sixth-generation warfare has begun, and once again, America is leading the way. <laughs>